Justin. Uh, yeah, we just got word that Cecil County schools are now closed. Cecil County schools closed this morning. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we have going on right now. And this is a reason why snow, sleet all falling and at a good clip here now through about 10 a.m. Then we'll see a gradual switch over back to rain as we head into this afternoon. But north and west, it's going to hold on longest. That's where we could see an inch to maybe two, maybe three inches of snow north and west of 695. And that's mainly on the grass, but even on some of those uh, paved surfaces, especially the secondary roads, there could be some slick spots that do develop and uh, potentially a 10 to a quarter inch of ice on top of that. Once it does switch over, as temperatures stay right around freezing. So again, some icy spots on roads as well within the city and within the Beltway and South. Again, it's more so like I'd say an inch or so of snow, maybe a little less in spots and uh, there could be a little bit of glaze. But again, that's really more so going to be just on the grass. Now there you go. The winter weather advisory is in effect into this afternoon, except uh, into the eastern shore. West of that, in fact, we've got a winter storm warning. That's where we've got the heavier snow that's expected with the more even significant ice. That's going to be west of Frederick County out toward Hagerstown and Cumberland. Right now reporting snowy conditions possible on some of the roadways spotty around the area, especially again north and west of 95 and 695. You get south and east, the road temperatures come up a little bit, so it may be more so wet. Now notice here in Baltimore, 33 degrees, the temperature on the road surfaces, so just above freezing, but you get north and west of the Beltway, that's where the problem set up. South and east, more so those temperatures uh, in the kind of uh, low to middle 30s. The snow, it's coming down in a good clip mixed with sleet, even a little bit of freezing rain at times. So again, anywhere from Baltimore down to Bowie, Severn and uh, Chestertown, even north of the city now getting in on the act as well as it all pushes in from the south. You could see the intensity of the rain that's changing into the sleet and snow. Very, very strong echoes coming in here. So this stuff's coming down in a very good clip. That's why, especially on the grassy surfaces, we are starting to see the accumulation. The rain snow line, at least for now, has dipped south, but eventually it will start climbing back to the north as uh, we get that sun angle kind of trying to beat through the clouds as we head into the afternoon. Here's our uh, snow totals. We expect up to about an inch, give or take, here in Baltimore. Uh, that would be mainly on the grass, but north and west, again, those road problems could ensue with one to three inches there. And there could even be a little layer of ice on top of that. Right now, snowy reported at BWI Mile 1 Towson Cam. Hard to believe mid-November and there's snow out there. Winds out of the northeast at 5. Wind chills in the 20s. So that uh, cold rain that started this morning now giving way to snow and ice and the pinks and the blues. That stays through about lunchtime here in Baltimore and even into early afternoon north and west of the Beltway. But again, those road temperatures will begin to warm up. The rain then takes over as we head into the afternoon, but could see another swipe of rain mixed with sleet and snow to wrap this up between about 2 and 5 a.m. tomorrow morning before it all gets out of here tomorrow. Again, sunshine comes back 49, so we melt it away and temperatures in the 40s and dry into the weekend. An early look at Wednesday getaways and for Thanksgiving, temperatures going to be in the 40s and it looks dry. Now, Candace Solds here with our traffic edge. Just got to get through these next few uh -huh. hours.